Hello, hello, hello. Today I am talking all about change. And um, people don't like change. Humans do not like change. I am one of them. <laughs> I think I've worked through all my stuff and then Rob, my husband, is always like, yeah, you really just don't like change. And I really believe that it's like, you know, family of origin stuff. And I also think that it's, it's a Scorpio thing because we actually don't like change. But when we do change, boy, do we transform from, you know, we are the sign of death and rebirth. <laughs> so <laughs> I think on some level, we just know the depths that we can go. But our brain really does not like change. And um, our ego and our conscious mind that we're in, again, only around 10% of the day, um, fears it. And so this is when, when we talk about fear, we talk about the amygdala. That is the part of the brain that is responsible is your fear center. And it is responsible for the fight, flight, fear, and fawn responses. <clears throat> and the amygdala you know, bless its heart, wants to keep you safe. Um, and so it is a survival mechanism from back in, you know, the day, like caveman times, right? And so <clears throat> that then the question is, how do you make long-term changes um, when this pesky amygdala pops up? Oh, I just had 10,000 steps. <laughs> I was like, why is my thing, why is my this thing, watch, going off. Um, I like to talk with my hands, so I don't really think I get 10,000. I just think I happen to talk with my hands a lot. Um, but, you know, it is about really healing um, so that we could reduce our fears. Um, and that healing takes place in the subconscious mind. It takes place with baby steps, and it also takes place with mindset. Okay. And so I always like to use the analogy of, um, being in a pool. So if you are going to do big changes that you haven't done, that you don't have a neuro pathway system, um, kind of in place for, um, it's kind of like jumping into a cold pool. All right. So a lot of times people want to make these big, huge changes in their life. Like, I'm going to go run a marathon and then do no training, right? Like this is that same kind of, kind of analogy. And so what happens is if you take on too much, your brain and your mind gets overloaded, your amygdala kicks in and then you're like, I ain't doing it. And so it's like diving into a cold pool and being like, no, thank you. I am jumping out of the pool and I'm not going to do this again. Um, and so what we want to do metaphorically is bring you over into the low end of the ba of the baby pool or the low end of the pool and dip your toe in, hang out there, go to the next step. This is all right. I can handle this little baby step. I got this mindset stuff. All right, we're good. Let's take another step. How does that feel? Not so great. I want to go back. Okay, cool. Let's just hang out here for a while. And that's kind of like a plateau, right? So you're just kind of like baselining it until you feel okay to go deeper into the pool. And so the next thing you know, you're like waist deep in change and your amygdala, when you're taking these little baby steps, isn't activated. That is the key. We don't want to activate your amygdala. We want to keep your um, nervous system balanced and not in hypervigilant mode. Okay. So, um, what also happens in tandem with this is there is a thing called the change cycle. And so there are five, <laughs> there are, woo, there are five, um, phases to this cycle. And the first one is pre-contemplation. Like you're not even thinking about changing. Like you are just like old habits, old behaviors, no awareness that you even want to do this. Um, and so you're just kind of going about your life. You're in kind of the status quo of that heroine's journey. Okay. The next one is contemplation. Hmm. Also part of the heroine's journey slash hero's journey of like 
eh, this isn't comfortable anymore, but I'm not quite ready to get on that path to do the changes, right? So you're thinking about it and your behaviors you are realizing are no longer working for you. So you're aware of the change, but you're not ready to actually take the steps, okay? The third step is action. That's actually when you are like, okay, I'm on the journey. I'm gonna be that heroine and you step on the path, okay? And you actually are taking the steps for the change, but you're like white knuckling it, right? Cause you're just like, this is new. You know, this kind of sucks. It's hard, all the things, right? So then the next, um, once you're kind of stay on that journey and you're like on track, the next phase is maintenance, okay? This is the behavior is sustained. You're not thinking about it. You're not conscious about it. You're, it's kind of slipped back into your subconscious. It's kind of become this routine. You are killing it. New behaviors, replace the old behaviors. And then do you wanna know what the next phase is? Anybody want to take a guess? I would love to hear. <laughs> so drop it below before I say something. Um, the next phase is actually relapse. Yes, you heard me right. Relapse is actually part of the change cycle. And so many people kind of fall off the horse, right? And, um, and then they don't ever go back on. They're like, they got off the path and they're not getting back on. And they're like, just fuck it. I'm going to stay here. And this is fine. Right. The key is to get back up on that horse and keep going. Okay. Um, many of us see relapse as failure and then go back to the old behavior. And so, you know, the, the, the key again is, getting back on that horse, you know, and it's like, if you've ever known somebody that is, you know, struggling with addiction and they get clean and they're doing great and then they fall off the wagon and then they're, they have relapsed. Okay. Like it is actually part of the cycle. And, um, I don't have a statistic statistic for this, but I've heard that there it's about like four or five times before, um, that you're going to relapse before it actually sticks. So when you relapse and go back to the old behavior, whether it's quitting drinking or stopping exercising or stopping meditating or um, whatever, not screaming at your kids, like whatever it is, know that relapse is part of the process. And I don't know, for me, it kind of makes it easier to be like, oh, okay, this is part of the process. I didn't fail. I could just start going again and get back into the the swing of things. Um, and so whatever you want to change, just keep that in mind because it's part of the process. And you know what? You got this. All right, friends, I have a client now, so I got to hop on to Zoom. I will see you on the flip side. Mwah. Bye. And let me know what you think about the change cycle. Okay, bye.